In this video, I'm going to show you how to format an APA style title page in Google Docs. So again, this document is on the Canvas page and it's there for you to refer to so you have all of the little nuances that you need to address when formatting your title page. So if I go to my Google Drive and I click New, and I click on a Google Doc, it's going to open up a blank page. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to Insert, go down to Page Numbers, and I want my page number in the upper right hand corner, but for some reason it doesn't work when I do that. So I'm going to click More Options, I'm going to click Show on First Page, and I want it to start at 1, I want my first page to be 1, and I'm going to click Apply and it just automatically goes there. And I do not want this different from the first page. I want everything to be the same, okay? I want it to number consecutively. So you wanna make sure that this is not clicked. You can see here that my margin is an inch, but my running head, my header can, um, my page number, my running head can fall within there. So I have my number and my cursor is just before there. So now I'm gonna type in my running head. And this time I'm gonna go with music and emotion. And then I'm going to tab over. You do this more than I did for Word. And then you see how I get here and now I'm at one inch margin. So here's my one inch margin. Here's my, oh, something happened. So when I did that last tab, you see that the, the page number got on a different line. So I'm going to do that, get it to here, and then I'm going to go to here and space it over. And now you see my page number is not quite at one inch. So I need to go back here and move it over manually. And see that's too far, so now we know this is right at one inch. So keep that in mind. I've noticed students doing that and I didn't know why their page number was always on the different line or why their margin wasn't quite one inch. So in Google Docs, you can't just tab over. You have to tab over and then use, um, I use the backspace feature to get this over here. And then just make sure this is all on the same line, that your margins are one inch. You can see that up here. And the running head can fall within that header. This is in all caps. It's a shortened and abbreviated version of my title and my page numbers um, starts at number one. So I'm done there. So I'm gonna get out of my header and I'm gonna go over here to a line and I'm going to click center. And now I'm gonna go down three to four spaces. And I'm gonna click the title, type in the title of my paper I decided for this one I'll do the effect of music on emotion and then I'm going to type in my name my full name you can decide if you want your middle initial or not I'm going to type in before that I want to type in my affiliation so that would be the department and the school And then I'm going to type in my professor's name and the full date. If you do autofill, it starts to look strange. So don't do autofill unless you know how to fix it. All right, so you see how this is all single space. Now that's not APA formatting. I need to highlight all of that, go to format, go to text. and go to, to paragraph and line and paragraph spacing. Sorry, it's a little different than in Word. So I went to format, I'm at line and paragraph spacing, and I'm gonna go down here and click double. Okay, so that's what I want it to look like, all double spaced. Now the title, which remember, you know, is in title case because all the letters that are, um, all the words that are main words are in capital. I need to put this in bold. So I'm gonna bold that, so I highlighted it, I went up here and I clicked bold. Now, APA also wants one single double spaced blank line. 
So I'm gonna go up here to the end of my title and I'm gonna click enter once. And now, now I have a blank double spaced line in between my name, my title and my name. We're not gonna do anything with author's notes or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that, but here is your title page in Google Documents.